Well, wherever you go in the state of Montana, you can see little white markers along the roadside. Now, each of those markers symbolizes a life lost on the spot where it happened. MTN's Cody Boyer is live in the studio right now with more on those markers and the organization behind them. Caitlin, Kevin, out of over 2,500 white markers across the state, 93 of them stand across the Gallatin Valley. Each of them symbolizes where someone's life was cut short, something the American Legion hopes to keep visible. Safety is the most important thing that we're involved in here. Greg Harback's notebook is filled with locations. Each line, another white marker on the side of a Gallatin County road. Each marker, a life lost on that spot. When we see one of those markers, it should remind us that we need to be a little more careful. There's a marker right on this corner. Harback is the fatality marker coordinator for American Legion Post 14. He showed me just a few of them, from four corners to around Belgrade. Grade. Part of his job, keep them visible no matter the cost. We went by a marker, a car had actually run over it. So a car actually took the same path uh, as a fatality two years ago. Volunteers spent nine and a half hours and traveled nearly 200 miles on Wednesday alone doing exactly this. The markers are there for more than one reason. Volunteers say they will stay put until a certain traffic issue that, well, caused them to be in their first place is addressed. There's been 101 people killed this year on in Mon Montana highways. Randy Kemp, adjutant to the American Legion Gallatin Post 14, says the markers aren't necessarily memorials. Each one sends a message. It was started by our department in 1953. They're for safety to warn people that a, 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 a death has occurred at this location where they're passing right now. So there might be a caution there. And Montana is the only state that has them. Kemp adds a few glances off the shoulder on the way to Big Sky from Four Corners is an eye-opening experience. Within 50 miles south of Polson, we counted 27 markers. Now that's a person getting killed just about every two miles. In the meantime, work continues, something those like Harback know is often unseen but important. If somebody sees one of these and says to themselves, geez, I need to be a little more cautious, uh, then it was all worthwhile. Kemp says a change of how you drive in the areas where these signs are can go even farther to stop them from having to put up more. Back to you. All right, thank you, Cody.